I played the shakuhachi. About a month ago, I posted a video where I had a look at some non-bamboo shakuhachi that may be useful for beginners because bamboo shakuhachi can be quite expensive and especially bamboo shakuhachi that are easy to play. Since I made that video, I played with the flutes a bit more and so I wanted to give you an update of what I think now. Some of the flutes I had used before and some were brand new then, so I think it's only fair that I give my impression now after I've actually played them for a bit. Just a quick recap, the flutes that I had were my fantastic self-made plumbing pipe uh, flute, which I was able to get the sound out of and which in parts actually was not quite as bad as I had expected. I won't be talking about this one today. Then I had a professionally made PVC shakuhachi, um, which uh, worked quite well, I thought. And then we have the Shakuhachi U, which has been around for a long time already, uh, which has always been my standard recommendation for beginners because uh, the quality is uh, quite acceptable and uh, the price is much lower than for a bamboo Shakuhachi of comparable quality, um, maybe about a tenth of the price. And then the Shakuhachi Hoshi Arashi, uh, which is a newer model that is made in China and uh, that is a bit different from the Shakuhachi U, uh, but price-wise it's pretty similar. Um, and I compared that to my trusted bamboo Shakuhachi to give you an impression of how the sound compares to a real bamboo Shakuhachi. Another result of the video was that John Kipras, the maker of the Bell Shakuhachi, uh, got in touch with me and he's currently working on a new model of the Bell Shakuhachi and he sent me a prototype. So I'll be doing in another unpacking video. So I'll unpack that that flute, which I just got today, um, and I'll see um, what my first impressions of that are. But before we get to that, um, I just wanted to quickly follow up which, with what I think about um, these three flutes now. So this is the, the Shakwa Chiyu, the Hoshi Arashi, and the PVC flute, um, after I played with them a bit more and compared them a bit more. For the U, I don't really have to add a lot more than what I already said. Um, it's a great flute, uh, especially for beginners, especially for the price. Um, what I noticed um, when I played it a bit more um, in the recent weeks is that um, the holes are quite a bit smaller than the holes that I'm used to. So the finger holes are quite a bit smaller than the holes that I'm used to. So some of my usual fingerings didn't really work quite as expected. This is not necessarily bad because in particular modern shakuhachi tend to have very large finger holes, but there is no categorical reason why the holes need to be bigger. So this is just fine. It's just a difference that I wasn't quite so aware of before I played the flute a bit more. Uh, the sound again is great. Compared to the Hoshi Arashi, the Shakuhachi U, I found um, the sound is actually more similar to my bamboo shakuhachi. I'm not quite sure why that is, and I'm not very versed in shakuhachi construction. But from what I understand, the main reason probably are that um, the inner bore volume of the Hoshi Arashi is probably a bit larger. The walls are a bit thicker on the Hoshi Arashi and the finger holes are actually bigger for the Hoshi Arashi as well. This is what makes the tone a bit cleaner and also louder. Compared to that, the PVC Shakuhachi, the size of the finger holes is pretty much the same as I'm used to, so that's very nice. <laughs> as I pointed out in the last video already, the, the wall is comparatively thin, and I found that the tones that I can produce on this flute are comparatively soft and I can't play quite so loud as I can play on the other flutes. Some more things about the uh, Hoshi Arashi, um, because as I say, this is a newer flute, so you will also find more information about the other types of flutes, about the U and about PVC Shakuhachi um, on the internets, on the intertubes. Um, but for the Hoshi Arashi, there are a few things uh, that I noticed. One thing is that it's a straight flute. So um, usually shakuhachi are bent. The root part is bent forward. So you can also see that, you can see that on my bamboo shakuhachi. This is the traditional way in, in which the flutes are being made. Again, I don't know, I'm assuming there is an advantage for the sound or for the playability, but you would have to ask a shakuhachi maker for that. 
the Hoshi Arashi is just straight. I found this surprisingly irritating. <laughs> I'm not really sure why, because this PVC shakuhachi also is just straight and I don't really mind. Maybe because the Hoshi Arashi is more meant to be like a proper shakuhachi and this not so much. Another thing I noticed is that the balance of the flute when I, when I hold it in the standard position is different to what I'm used to. So different from my bamboo shakuhachi and also from uh, the shakuhachi U. What I mean is that, so the, there are three main points that you use for holding a shakuhachi. One is that you rest it on your chin, then it's on your thumb, and then you use your middle finger to, to um, hold the shakuhachi from uh, not falling down. And then um, there's also a bit of this going on. And what I couldn't get quite used to is that this Hoshi Arashi is more top heavy. So um, when I when I use my thumb to, to, to move the shakuhachi a bit, then I need more I need more muscle power for that. It's not a big difference, not at all. And it's something that anybody can get used to. Um, I'm just saying this is different for the Hoshi Arashi and it's something um, that even after playing it for a bit, um, I, I still find a bit irritating. Another thing is, um, as I already said, it's a round flute. <laughs> I'm just not used to it. So I actually had it on my table um, a few times and it just rolled off. Um, again, a PVC shakuhachi does just the same thing. And it's not a big problem because, I mean, this is made from a resin, so uh, the chance of this breaking is extremely small. But it happened to me, and when a shakuhachi falls down, um, I always cringe quite a lot. So, um, yeah, but maybe this is just a, some anect anecdote. It doesn't really have to do very much with the playability of the flute or the usability of the flute. One thing I also commented on uh, in the last video already is that I found the flute uh, surprisingly heavy and I actually measured the weight and I found that um, so basically my bamboo shakuachi and the shakuachi U are about the same weight. For a bamboo shakuachi mine is already on the heavier side because it has quite a thick wall. Both of these flutes are about 400 grams. The Hoshi Arashi weighs 500 grams. This in itself is neither good nor bad. And it also means that uh, the walls probably are quite a bit thicker than on the Shakuachi U, for example, which makes it easier to produce a strong and a loud tone, if you like that kind of tone. So that might be a good thing for you. Um, but what I already mentioned in the last video is that beginners have a tendency to grip the flute very tightly because, I mean, you don't know how to hold the instrument. You don't know where it's moving and so on and so forth. So you use a lot of muscle power and you use a lot of the muscles in your lower arms for keeping this grip. So um, overall, it's something that I find a bit problematic for, for a beginner flute. If you're an experienced shakuhachi player and you want to use this to play outside and to make a loud sound, this may be actually a good thing for you. One thing I must say that I did find a bit annoying <laughs> is that um, after a while, the bottom ring of the shakuhachi started to come off. So if I take the flute apart, this ring now is loose. I'm sure with just a bit of glue, it's easy to uh, put the ring back. Uh, the thing is that for shakuhachi, um, there are at the back really, really tiny marks. Um, let's see if I can get this big enough so that you can maybe see it anyway so there are there are tiny marks at the back um, of the rings which help you to align the flute so that when you oh, <laughs> so that when you put it together so that the the holes are actually in line and that you don't that they are not twisted okay so that's why you have at the back you have these marks but if the ring is just rotating, um, I can't really see that. So I had to always adjust that visually. And anyway, it's a bit annoying and I'm sure it's probably just a one-off in this flute, uh, but I was a bit surprised because otherwise the uh, quality of this flute is actually quite high. Okay, so that's my impression after 
uh, the first few weeks of uh, playing these flutes. I must say, I'm still in two minds about the Hoshi Arashi. Um, on the one hand, it may be a good flute if you really need to produce a loud sound. So, and if you need to produce a clean sound. But to be honest, I, I find it a bit too dissimilar from the sound that I get from my bamboo shakuachi. And the shakuachi U is closer sound-wise, I find, to my bamboo shakuachi. So from that point, I, I do prefer, the, I still prefer the shakuachi U. What is easier for me here on the Hoshi Arashi are the bigger finger holes, because that's what I'm used to. They are, as I said, a bit smaller on the U. So I can just consider this a bit of practice that's good for me to be more adaptable, to be more flexible. But um, yeah, so on overall balance, I probably still uh, prefer the Shakuachi U. Okay, so now for the second big part, the unboxing, right? Everybody loves an unboxing video on YouTube, so let's get to it. I got this, um, I got this package today, so let's see. Oh, this looks very nice. I really like this. This uh, this looks more like bamboo. So this is really great. I mean, even for even for this, right? It's just monochromatic. So this actually looks more like shakuachi. Oh, and it's actually I think it's lighter than the. Is it lighter than the U? Yeah, I think it's a bit lighter. Anyway, I'll I'll give it a weigh in. <laughs> Protection for the Utaguchi, always good. Very nice. Okay, so one thing you can immediately see, there is no joint here in the middle. This is modeled after a Jinashi flute, so a flute that doesn't have lacquer inside. Uh, so you can see that this flute here, it's black inside. This means there is a G inside uh, to make the bore smoother. And the bell chakwa G is modeled after a flute that doesn't have this G inside or only a little G, as far as I understood John. <laughs> also, as I mentioned in the introduction, uh, this is a prototype. So John is currently working on the next official release of this flute. So he sent me this one to get some feedback um, on his flute. But we thought it might be good to give you a teaser that the next version of the flute will be available soon. <laughs> okay. Enough talking, let's try. My very first impression after half a minute <laughs> is that this is really very nice. Um, uh, so the other, the other two, so the U and the Hoshi Arashi, um, they try to be proper bamboo shakuhachi and don't really succeed. In the tone and the playability, there is always something to be desired, um, which you find in a bamboo shakuhachi, but which these foods cannot have. Um, my first impression here is that um, this really is just an instrument in its own right. Um, it's it's different from my bamboo shakuachi, definitely. Um, as I say, it's modeled. This one is modeled after a jinashi, so um, and I don't really have a lot of experience with jinashi, so I don't know. Maybe this is already the main difference, but the first impression is really very nice, and also um, the chin rest and the utaguchi is very comfortable for me personally, um, but everybody um, has different preferences there. So this may just be a lucky coincidence that um, John's and my preferences are similar. <laughs> okay, let me play a bit more.
Yeah, so this is very nice. Um, I think I also understand why John still considers this a prototype, because he explained to me that um, the form of the Utaguchi and the Chinres um, are maybe not the easiest to use, especially for inexperienced players. Um, and I do notice that I will have to, to learn this flute um, a bit at least. So what he's aiming for, for the next official release of the Bell Shakuachi, as he explained to me, is to make this a bit easier to play for not quite so experienced players. So I'm really looking forward to that, how that works. Um, but yeah, my first impression is that uh, this is really a very nice flute. Uh, I really like it. If you like these uh, Shakuachi gear <laughs> unpacking videos, uh, let me know in the comments um, and um, I'll, I'll be happy to do it. Um, it's always fun to try new flutes and to have to learn to adapt and to see how I need to improve my technique. So I really enjoy that process. If you like these videos, please give me a like, please subscribe to my channel, please leave me a comment what you would like to see next and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!